Well guys, welcome back at the Muslim PSUs. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that I've seen too many GPUs just break from one day to the other. And the cause is all the same. So this is especially hitting GTX 1000 series cards, which by the way, if you're thinking about buying one, make sure you do your research and if possible, buy one from a guy who bought it originally because I've seen just too many recirculating on the used market after being used for mining or for budget bills by people who are not really good at their job and uh, they are just breaking, okay? But also for RTX 2000 series cars, which I remember you guys are definitely not as efficient as RTX 3000 and RTX 4000 series cars and those have been mined on heavily as well, especially the top of the line cars, the TI, RTX 2080 Ti and GTX 1080 Ti. Now, what I have here today is another one of these, and it's actually what prompted me to do this video. So this is a GTX 1080 Ti Zotac Mini. Now, this thing is not actually hitting a specific brand because literally any GPU can get damaged by this and it doesn't matter what brand it's from. However, the cause is always the same and it's quite simply smoke. So if you have in your house a fireplace and you have your PC in the same room as the fireplace, or if you smoke, pretty much, the dust is accumulating inside the fins of the heatsink of the graphics card. And now this is happening even if you have a case with the best dust filters in it, which brings me to the first thing you can do to mitigate that. That's getting a good case with good dust filters. But as we've seen in the past, this especially happens if you have like a GPU as an intake. Now on the channel, I have a video in which basically I bought a 500 euros gaming PC and the GPU was broken and we did everything possible to fix it. And we kind of managed to in the end, but it was very tough. And uh, I, I will put a link to it down here. But basically in that specific case, the GPU was acting as an intake because it was an MSI pre-built and so the GPU was just getting all the air in. And of course, in that case, you are more exposed to the problem, even though that has many benefits for the GPU if one doesn't smoke. But in this case, for example, the card was in a normal case and it still happened. So again, what is happening? It's not just a matter of temperature. So don't think that if you check your temperatures and the temperatures are fine, your card is safe. What's happening is, again, GPUs are cooled by heatsink. The heatsink has very small thins, which are basically the little sides of aluminum, one next to the other, okay? Now the air from the fans is not only cooling the heatsink, which cools your GPU die, which is where the heatsink is sitting on via thermal paste, but it is also directly cooling with airflow, the VRAM and the VRM components, because especially older GPUs do not have contact on memory because the memory used here which was usually GDDR6 or GDDR5X or GDDR5, wasn't as hot as GDDR6X. So on modern cars, this thing is happening less. And modern, I mean RTX 3000, RTX 4000. This thing is happening less because we have full contact on the memory. So even if you block the airflow, um, the memory is still not gonna overheat. But over here, if the fins on top of the memory get blocked, memory gets zero air and that causes the card to break. Now, when the card breaks, it usually gives out green lines or just general types of artifacting. It's what we are seeing here today with this card. I will show you the video. Basically, in Windows, you get green lines everywhere. Now, there are ways to fix it, and I do cover them on the channel. Again, on that video about the 500 euros PC with green lines, we fix it in the end. I will just uh, tell you quickly a few ways to fix it, but then I will maybe have dedicated video if you guys want covering it one by one. But before I do that, I'm gonna just tell you, Worst case, if the memory chip is damaged, no matter what you do, you're not gonna fix it because you will need to physically replace the memory chip with a working one. And that's a very advanced thing. It's not something you can DIY at home, unfortunately. So your car is basically bricked. Things you can do are go into Windows, downclock it. I have tutorials on how to do it. Or uh, go into Windows, BIOS flash it. Again, I have tutorials on how to do it. Um, we did it to increase performance as well, for example, on a GTX 780. Or last thing you can do is actually wash it with water, which is why my channel is called this way, with a very certain method because, well, I will make a dedicated video on how to do it, but basically those, washing it sometimes brings those cars back, surprisingly. If you wash it and then do a quick 
reflow with a heat gun. Uh, sometimes they, they come back to life. But really, what you should do is just prevent this from happening on your GPU. So even if you have a fireplace in your house and you have smoke for the various reasons going on your PC, which you shouldn't have, or uh, same thing can happen with pets, with like fur, what you should do is like once a year, and really it's pretty frequent once a year, but you should do it. Just dismount your graphic card, uh, dismount the cooler, and then just manually clean it and get all the fins cleaned up, okay? This simple thing is gonna prevent your GPU from having this. If you quite simply clean the fins, this thing absolutely cannot happen to you. So please clean the fins. And uh, if you have any more tips of your own on like how to fix this issue, drop it down below, but I don't think anything extra exists. And let me know if you have seen any more weird causes that uh, harm components. This kind of damage can also occur to all-in-one radiators, but uh, usually they just cool a bit less and it's not a big deal, but on GPUs you can break it. And it also damages thermal pads quite badly, uh, which is why I have a video on how to replace thermal pads on your GPU, and you should also do that uh, after a few years, or if you're buying a used GPU, by the way. So sorry for the long video. I hope it was helpful. And uh, maybe if even just one of you guys can prevent his GPU from basically dying from this, then I will be very happy. If this video was informative or helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video as well. Goodbye.